Hello, Steve Dennis here, and today I'm excited to share with you three keys in changing your mindset. Are you ready to grow? Well, come on, let's grow. How to change your mindset. Okay, years ago I did a class called You Can Change Your Mind. <laughs> so basically, uh, what I'm excited about is that I'm going to share with you some, some principles from that teaching uh, that I know is going to add tremendous value to your life. And you know what? And also to your leadership, your influence in the world. Okay, so... Um, Changing the mindset and, and literally, you know, finding ways to really shift the way I think. Uh, what an amazing, very, very important subject. And when I think about that subject in particular, I think about the fact that um, I know exactly what it's like to basically run my life or to, or to regulate my life or to even navigate my life from the standpoint of thinking in my mind that I am a complete failure. And one of the things I did to change my mindset, one of the things I did to shift my way of thinking, now hear this word again, to shift my way of thinking. And how you can tell that you have shifted your way of thinking is because when you shift your way of thinking, it automatically creates a lift in your life. Come on now. <laughs> so, let me make it rhyme. A shift will create a lift. <laughs> okay. A lift meaning that what I do for a living now, for an example, I did not see myself doing this 25 years ago. Why? Because of the mindset, the thinking that I was operating from at that point in time. And so I'm going to give you today at least two out of the, out of the six principles. I may give you three, okay? <laughs> but I'll give you some principles on what I've done that has helped me to shift that mindset so that I could experience more of a lifting in life, okay? Are you ready to rock and roll with me? Well, let's go. All right, number one. And again, this is taken from a, a, a class I've done called my learning attitude. And why is that important? Because you know as well as I do, my learning attitude and my learning mindset. Why is that important? Have you heard this statement before? Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. I want to challenge you. Here we go. Right, right off the bat. Okay. Let's, let's talk about changing the mindset. What if instead of thinking sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, what, what would happen if you and I could instantly right now shift over to sometimes you win, sometimes you learn? Wow, here's a question for you and I. What would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? <laughs> Think about that for a minute before I go any further. What would you do if you knew deep down inside that you could not fail. Well, here's what I do know. You will learn something. Okay, so here we go. Number one, that will help you and I to shift for a lift of our mindset. Number one, every day, make it up in your mind that every day I will learn something. This is how you do it, gang. This is how you make, this is how you create a change in your mindset is that every day you make up in your mind, I will learn something. As you're watching this video, here's a question for you. Already today, whatever day you're watching this video on, what have you learned lately? What have you learned today? What comes to your mind? Did you learn a new name of a, a particular associate or a friend or a buddy? I met a guy at the YMCA today, and we walked up to each other, gave each other, gave each other the, fist, the fist punch, pound thing or whatever, and it, we, we, we had to remind ourselves, uh, you know, to know each other's name. He said to me, hey, Steve, right? I said, yes, Charles, I remember you, buddy. Okay, my whole point, what did you learn today? What else did you learn today? Did you learn something about life? Did you learn, so did you learn something about your job? Did you learn something about a particular hobby? <laughs> I'm learning the importance of eating more protein and less carbohydrates, okay? What did you learn today? Number two, everyone, I love this. Number two is everyone will be my teacher. My friend, that statement will help you and I to shift that mindset. Everyone will be my teacher. The people in your life that you might consider to be good, 
the people in your life that you may consider to be bad, the people in your life that you may consider to be indifferent, the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay? Everyone would be my teacher, including the people that I may in the past have maybe even accused them of causing me my greatest pain. But everyone would be my teacher. What can I learn from even some of the, the, the tough experiences that I've had in life? What am I still learning from that? Who are some of my greatest teachers? Because everyone will be my teachers. Number two, number three. Oh, number three is another favorite of mine. Every experience that you and I have in life, every experience will be a learning lab. Wow. Think about that for a minute. Your leadership experiences, your family experiences will be a learning lab. The experiences that you've had that um, were grade A or even a grade B or grade C or grade D, whatever experiences that you've had, every experience that you and I have had will be a learning lab. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm reminded of a time in my life as a leader that I literally had, was going through a particular experience where I was learning how to get my grounding as a leader, okay? <laughs> Dealing with my own insecurities and some of my own idiosyncrasies. But what was amazing to me is that now, looking back on those experiences, when I didn't feel as secure or confident as a leader, that that experience was nothing more than a learning lab. A learning lab. Every experience that you and I have had can be and will be a learning lab. Here's a question for you. What learning lab experience have you had lately? What are you dealing with right now that may even be, to a certain degree, a heartbreaker? Here's what I know, before I let you go, that even when you've had a heartbreaking experience, those heartbreaking experiences are nothing more than preparations for the next cloud breaker. <laughs> and again, my friend, shifting the mindset and changing your mindset on an ongoing basis. And the bottom line is simple this, there's something that I wanna challenge you that you and I will be doing for the rest of our lives, okay? So, as I get ready to close, I've given you three. And I just love these three, and, and I have more to share with you later. But before I do that, let me remind you of something. That the, uh, a bend in the road is not the end of the road unless you fail to make the turn. My friend, here's what I'm talking about. Good experiences, having these experiences that you and I have in life, okay? Good management of those experiences. Ah, example, what if, I've, what if you and I have had some bad experiences? The way you and I manage them will always lead to great growth. So let me, let me give it to you in a, in a nutshell before I let you go. Good management of bad experiences will always lead to great growth and will always lead to a shifting in your mind. I've enjoyed myself today. I hope that you've gotten some value from this video. And remember, no matter where you are in life, you can change your mind. Thank you very much.